Hello, everybody. Welcome to your Talking Fish for Headlines on this Tuesday, August 8th, 2023. 8823. Love it. Rolls right off the tongue. Jeremy Crosby here, hoping you're having one of those days like I am. It's been nice out this week. Maybe we'll see some rain later this week, but until then, just enjoy these nice temperatures while we have it here as we uh, close out the summer here. <sighs> Just gives me chills thinking that we're closing that out, but we're not going to talk about that. What we are going to talk about is an update on road construction on Syene Road and Lacey Road. Here is your construction update for August and a couple of things you should know here for the upcoming weeks. Uh, expect a heavy construction uh, activities, uh, heavy construction traffic in the area, including dump trucks and concrete trucks utilizing the entrances from both sides of uh, Lacey and from uh, Syene Road. Expect shoulder closures for concrete work along Syene Road in front of Quick Trip and the BP gas stations as well. And as we look ahead here, moving forward, there'll be concrete and curb gutter along Lacey and Syene Road intersections that will continue. Railroad signal relocation has been completed at Lacey Road intersection and traffic signal work at Lacey Road intersection uh, is uh, ongoing. The week uh, of uh, this week, we continue uh, with the gutter uh, work on both Lacey and Sign Road intersections, as mentioned by the BP and Quick Trip gas station. Tra traffic signal work continues at the Lacey Road intersection, and concrete handwork for pedestrian crossings at Lacey Road intersection uh, will continue. And then traffic work in the later part of this month will uh, continue uh, at Lacey Road. Project restoration and preliminary grading for asphalt paving operations happening here middle of the month. We should see uh, some, uh, some of these things finishing up uh, by the end of the month with some uh, openings potential starting in September. We'll keep you up to date on that and you can find this construction update at our website fitchforwi.gov and of course we share the link when we share our headlines so you can check that out as well. This week is storm water, uh, uh, I keep saying storm water awareness week but just storm water week and uh, for day two we're going to be talking a little bit about reducing runoff. Yes, by building a rain garden, rain barrel, or downspout garden in your yard, you can reduce runoff throughout storm week. Participants in the downspout uh, participate in the downspout garden or rain barrel sale discounts, which will be provided August seventh through the eleventh. Also, attend free webinar from twelve to one p.m. Please remember to register ahead of time for this opportunity to learn about uh, different ways to uh, use the runoff in a positive way when it comes to storm water. Great information all week long. I've got my sticker on my laptop, got it right there, it's pretty cool. And you could get a sticker, stop by City Hall if you'd like to pick up one of those and learn more about storm water. All right, turning our attention to the Fitchburg Police Department, uh, reporting on two different vehicle versus bicycle crashes, both uh, taking place on August 7th, first around 5.50 a.m. The first crash occurred at the intersection of McKee Road and Nesbitt Road. A vehicle was turning into McKee Road from a stop sign at the same time. The bicycle was traveling across the intersection in a designated crosswalk. The driver did not see the bicyclist before turning and struck the bicyclist. The bicyclist was transferred to an area hospital to be evaluated for apparent minor injuries. Later in the morning, around 9 a.m., a second crash occurred in the intersection of County Highway MM and Burn Road. This bicyclist was stopped at a stop sign on Burn Road, and when a driver of a vehicle turned on to uh, Burn Road and County Highway MM, the driver was a driver made two sharp of a turn causing them to first travel into the wrong lane resulting in the crash. The bicyclist suffered a possible broken wrist as a result and was transported to an area hospital for treatment. Both drivers uh, uh, both drivers in this incident will be issued citations for failure to yield the right of way and uh, conducting an improper turn. In light of these and other similar crashes that have occurred recently in the area, Fitchburg Police Department is urging both uh, drivers and so motorists and bicyclists to be cautious and be observant in their surroundings to prevent future accidents. And finally, the Fitchburg or the Agora Art Fair in Fitchburg uh, is coming up real soon. Want to make sure you get this on your calendar. Over 100 artists will be showcasing their art for the 15th annual Agora Art Fair uh, set right here in the Agora Pavilion and Agora uh, area, if you will. It's Saturday, August 19th, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Thank you.